Hey everybody, welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and this is Change Our Mind. We had a second part here. Jody had to split, but I got my man, Lewis. What up, Lewis? What's up, man? Thanks for having me. When I can't have Jody, I love having Lewis. But uh, so happy to have you here on our show, stepping in. Uh, you just brought up a great topic I wanted to do a video about that I've been meaning to, and I just kept forgetting. So thank you for reminding me. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about this. So Ray Fisher, cyborg himself, went to Twitter and wrote the following. I'd like to take a moment to forcefully retract every bit of this statement. Damn. Yeah, I mean, Josh is a great guy, and Zach picked a good person to come in and, and uh, clean up and finish up for him. So we got some more time. What's your name in question? Damn. <laughs> so Zach picked someone good. and jo Now, when you go back and you watch this, now, watch it one more time and watch Jason Momoa's face. This is a face. great guy, and Zach picked a good person to come in and, and uh, clean up and finish up for him. Look at Momoa. Like, okay, all right, fine. We're going to go there. Still got some more time. What he does not, neither of those guys believed a word of that when they said it. <laughs> uh, look, I, I say good for Ray Fisher uh, uh, in this instance, Lewis. I mean, I feel like he's been one of the most vocal supporters of all this, right? And then uh, – yeah. He came forward and sort of he's now doubling down saying, screw it. The, the most frustrating thing for me about all of this, it's all of this is just proving <laughs> that I was right. No, that the story was right, that Warner Brothers doesn't like him. There were a lot of people over there that just did not want anything to do with Zach, that were overruling and not letting him make his movie. And clearly all these people were upset and they were bummed for him due to the loss of his, you know, his daughter, everything that was going through. This was clearly not a, and I'm sure more will come out eventually, but I don't believe this was a smooth sailing thing at all. Like this was clearly bad blood across, you know, the, the gate. Uh, and so a lot of these, and I think Ray and, and Jason, who were two supporters of him always, because they sort of got who they were because of his castings, um, have had his back this whole time too. And so for them to sort of see this uh, sort of just proves like they're like, yep, we don't have to hide anymore. We don't have to be BSing. We could be honest and genuine with the fans now and say we finally got it. W Warner Brothers can't control us is sort of how that feels. Lewis, what do you think about that when you see it? It's a double-edged sword for me, man. I got to be honest with you. There's a saying of a, uh, there's a boxing promoter that is known for BSing. He said yesterday he was lying and today he's saying the truth. That was his saying, right? So I don't know, like now, I mean, I'm glad Ray Fisher is being um, honest, I guess, but couldn't he be seeing the same thing of, in like a year about Zack Snyder? I mean, now we don't know when he's honest kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, look, you have a good, it's a good take. You're right. But at the same time, like there's certain times where you're Ray Fisher, you're a nobody. You're a nobody. Yeah. Ray Fisher was a nobody. Let's be let's be really honest about it if we're being honest. You think Ray Fisher is going to show up to Comic-Con, his first Comic-Con panel, where I'm sure at that point even Zach might have been like, dude, it is what it is. I understand. I'm not mad at you. And then suddenly Ray Fisher's got to play like, yep, they picked Joss Whedon. Uh, you know, Zach picked the best. Now, we don't know if Zach didn't pick him. Who know? I, I don't know if that was a lot, but I guess he's retracting everything. I'd like to, take, to retract every bit of the statement. You know, it, it, he's. I can see the problem where Ray Fisher felt like he had to play the game because he's a nobody. But it seemed like he complimented Joss Whedon as a person, and he's retract, retracting it like, like, it's not really. I mean, Joss not, Whedon was he like? Were they in conflict during the? Well, he's not calling production. out as a person again. The quote is. Yeah, I mean, Joss is a great guy. Joss is a great guy. A Joss is a great him. guy. I would like to retract. He said, "I would like to retract everything said here." Joss is a great guy. <laughs> All right. Well, that's you're right. The calling out Joss, I, I sort of glossed over that. But yeah, right. I mean, he, and yeah. He's retracting every bit of that statement. He is calling out that Josh is not a great guy. Joss is a great guy, and Zach picked a good person to come in and and uh, clean up and finish up for him. So I basically, mean, I, Josh I is not a great up. guy, and Zach did not pick a good I, person to clean up. I after saw him. it as he cleaned up, and cleaned up, and took care of it for him. That that to me was what I thought he was retracting. But you make a good point, in that I hear you. If he's if he's really like saying, you know, Josh is a scumbag, that's a bad look too. He didn't need to. Call it that seems out. like it. I'm not. I'm not putting. But by him tweeting out, that's the problem with Twitter, right? <laughs> Everyone analyzes your words. Going by what he wrote. It says I would like to retract everything, right? So I would like to take a moment to forcefully retract every bit of the statement. Every, every bit. bit. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, I look. You're right. I ignored that first sort of two words before it got there, and that that's. A, but I guess my point is still. I still stand by the fact that the, the second. You're right on the first part. On the second half, 
someone like Ray Fisher, like that is a tough game to go against. Like uh, he may not have been genuine then, but I feel like he's being genuine now. Um, and I, I do, I don't, I don't fault him. It's interesting though, I, but I, I can't fault him for trying to get a roof, you know, keep a roof over his head and stay in working. Right. I don't think Zack Snyder can fault him for that. Like he's just playing the game. He's giving the court. Here's what you got to say. Uh, sure. He's asked a tough question. What do you think of Joss Whedon for him to say in that moment at Comic-Con before the movies even come out to say, dude, Joss Whedon's totally rip sucking this movie out. It's not the same movie. It's not Zack's vision. I'm really pissed. Dude, it would have. He would have been done. He would have been done. Um, you know. Well, he could have stayed quiet. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, he, he's just, he's not. But that's my point. He's a nobody who's not experienced enough to know to sort of. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what ha- I'm. Exci- I'm excited. You know, it's an exciting. Mo- he could have tried to answer the question by not answering the question. Um, but I don't. I didn't say what the question he, was. Here's the deal, Andy, and and the crew watching. Ray Fisher's cyborg was going to have a much bigger part in the Justice League. Zack Snyder has actually come out and said recently that cyborg is going to be the heart of his cut. So there you go. That's uh, why his, his allegiance now to Zack. I mean, Myra just said a good point too. I think I thank you, Myra, for the super chat. I think Ray is bitter that his big break was cut and blames Joss, uh, but the one who should really be blamed is Warner Brothers, who decided to cut it from part two, uh, cut it from a two part movie to one. Yeah, look, I think he's just upset at Warner Brothers here. I don't even know if it's Joss, but he's probably upset at Joss for that same reason. If Joss cut it all out um, and sort of took his part out of it, and the reality is, I didn't like Cyborg in the movie. Granted, because of the way it was cut and everything that was done, he didn't really have anything to do. Um, and so uh, I can see why he's upset and taking it back. But the, calling out Joss directly is a shot. That's maybe too much. Um, but uh, you're you're calling out the disingenuousness. It's valid. What do you guys think of the comments? I'm curious. I mean, it's valid. You're making a good point in that he is. He he. It's hard to know what's what's truthful. It's coming out of his mouth. But you know what I'm saying? Don't you think it is sort of a, a hard game to be honest in right now when you're coming out? You get a gig like this and to just come out the gate at Comic Con and call it out. That's that would be that would have, he would have set flames to his career even earlier. Well, he's not going to say that at Comic Con, but this statement right here it really feels like it didn't have to be said. He's getting his movie. The proof is going to be in the pudding. I think Ray Fisher is going to be excellent. And I do think, like, what we saw of the Justice League movie, he was definitely a highlight. The character did seem to have a lot of heart uh, to be shown, but didn't get the proper screen time or storyline that was deleted or whatever to bring it forth, Look, you know, to I, bring it forward. Well, I see this as Ray Fisher getting extremely confident and cocky. <laughs> it's, it's right. It's like, and, and it's like you're watching like some. He's probably looking at like John Boyega, people out there who just don't give an f anymore, and have said what they're saying, what they want, even about Star Wars, like him and Oscar Isaac. They're coming out there, sort of being honest now. They don't. They're sort of annoyed, but at the same time, yeah, we took the paycheck. It's sort of what he's admitted, right? And so I feel, and he's getting praised and loved out there. And so I'm. I, this to me senses like a little bit of like, you know what? I'm going to start saying what I want to say now, uh, and and he, him thinking it's going to be as 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 powerful. And the reality is like. You're right. And like, let's see the movie first. <laughs> right. But I got to give him props for like, he's leaning in now. He is being himself now and saying, you know what? I'm team Zach. I'm going to, I'm going to be there no matter what. I love this community that's riled up against me. They love for me. You know, they're, they're, they're here. I, I could see this as him now saying, I'm, I'm, I can now finally speak my, my truth and not have to sort of play the studio BS. And so in that regard, I give him props. I think it's a well earned thing, but yeah, you, you made, you you're changing your mind slightly and pointing out some interesting points about it because is he, is he, is he, will he change his mind when the Zack Snyder cut sucks? <laughs> if it sucks, if it sucks, I'm not saying it's going to suck. It, it could be great. Lewis, could it be great? Uh, chances it's, this is, this it, is a real test. It, it all could it, be great though, right? That's it could be great. I want it to be great. Uh, I watch it right now in a heartbeat. I do want it to be good. I do sincerely want it to be good. 90%. It was not going to be good. Uh, not, not at you had a, his, his career. Where, where's the rest? It's true. He didn't really have much of a career, did he? But if we're being honest about him, so now he's got something because he's back in people's uh, look. He's he's trending again because Cyborg's yeah. back. So of course he's going to be allegiant to Zach and defend. And so now he's getting he's get he's feeling more baller. That's what happens with the Snyder fans. Zach has now established this like let's let's set flames. We don't care anymore. And now that he's he's won the cut back, they're feeling even more. We can do anything. In my opinion, DCEU history has shown that every actor that's enthusiastic about being the character has uh, produced or been part of a successful film. Gail Gadot, 
always happy, always talking about Wonder Woman films overly not, successful not People talking smack, it. Tra- smack either right exactly it's sort of yeah same thing with uh jason momoa always uh talk about being he's aquaman talk, he's talked some smack though about marvel but not aquaman fair but but ben affleck look i'm sorry ben affleck looked like he never wanted to be there <laughs> right it sounded like he was going through a lot of personal stuff too right and it's not it's not his fault i mean i'm not mad at him but he wasn't he had one foot in the door and the other one leaving True, I, I disagree with that. So, uh, and, and Ray Fisher's clearly like, please, can I be cyborg still? Because that was cool. We'll see if it makes <laughs> sense. We'll see if people care. Uh, we'll see if the hell. I mean, the DC, Snyder fans will care, uh, no doubt. But I'm talking beyond that fan. Like, and I'm not trying to diss them. I, I'm moving on. I'll let them have their win. They earned it. But uh, I'm just talking about beyond that. You know, like, will it will it exceed beyond that to be such a popular thing for for HBO Max that they're like, well, damn, we got to do more of these because it's an expensive project they just added to their catalog so we shall see uh but tell me what you guys think in the comments down below who you're watching this later thanks for bringing this up lewis this was a fun topic uh, i'm going to be still streaming here live check us out every tuesday thursdays 9 p.m here on popcorn planet check out nerd report go subscribe over there to lewis nerd lecca on twitter uh thank you guys for watching those of you watching live stay tuned we're not leaving just yet but those of you watching the playback please sure to subscribe and if you're not a member you can go be a member and see all the parts of the video on the community tab uh, or hear us on itunes spotify etc thanks for watching everybody see you soon Thank you.